Now, the pappies are correct here, and I think they're at three degrees. But yeah, you'll just have to kind of look outside and look at where your <laughs> flight path marker is and try to see what is a good three degree line. And about 130-ish, 25 is it's a good speed here. You're looking pretty good. I will pull back up just a little bit and try to go right just past those flashing lights there at the end of the runway. Yeah, just push a little bit more power. Probably Yeah, so you'll notice, I didn't notice this when I landed here, but I think that fence is probably real. There's a fence at the edge of the, which is part of the reason why they probably do a steep approach, because they're trying to stay clear of the fence. Keep the, keep the noise down. And, yeah. Uh, so it doesn't hurt them to have a fence at the edge of the runway. Perfect. Yeah, I'd say you just go idle at this point. Your speed's looking good. Nice. Round out at about 20 feet or so, a little bit more, a little bit more. TRs all the way. You can push on the brakes as well and de-rotate. Very nice. Just that First. easy. That's a really short run. <laughs> It is, yeah. It the end comes is. up quickly. It did good. That was fun. Yeah, halfway or so. Just a little bit, get the nose. This is kind of an idea where your water line is. So you put that at about 10 degrees and then just let it fly away. And that's it. You ready? I'm ready. Show us, show us your excellent piloting skills. See it. bit of the stick force, right? It's trying to push the nose down, so you just hit that red button by your thumb, and that trims it to the speed that you were flying at. So if you want to fly 200 knots, then you get to 200, push the button, and then it'll always try to return you to that speed as you're, you know, give you kind of feedback into your hand of what speed you're flying. So yeah, I would push over and just level off. If you want to get too high, unless you want to go fly at high altitude and we can kind of go out and circle back and land if you'd like or we can go sure. so flight path marker here you can tell if you're climbing or descending right so you're at a four degree climb right now so if you want to stop climbing you would push the nose over until that is right at the horizon and now you're going to accelerate up into your high speed protection. So what's going to happen is it's going to start pushing your nose up because you're going so fast. Does that make sense? So I would pull these all the way back. That way you'll be able to kind of control the nose. Otherwise it's just going to keep trying to slow you down. So probably 250 is a good kind of below 10,000 speed to target if you'd like. We can look at like, for, we can look at the low speed protection if you'd like, the stall protection. Okay. So just pull the power all the way to idle and just pull the nose up. You keep the turn coming, see if we can continue to come back around. So we're gonna get really slow and we're gonna slow down. And the more we slow down, you're gonna see that amber low speed awareness bar start to come up. Gonna post us and be like, yeah. So do you see that? Yeah. So that's gonna basically just keep trying to slow down. So you're you're trying to stall the airplane, 
right? And it's trying to stop you, so it's going to say, I'm not going to let you pull the nose up that high because the airplane's going to stop flying. So even if you pull all the way back on the, air, on the stick, it's going to hold you below the stall angle of attack. And that's what that little, what we call the path limit indicator there is saying, if you get to, this is very, very close to the stall. So if you touch that with your flight path marker, you will be very close to the stall. And it, the limiter will, will do its best to keep you from touching that. So you have a little bit of a buffer. And if you get to that, when you touch that PLI, then the stick shaker will go off, which is another kind of tactile feedback that you're getting very close to the stall and that you should push forward on the stick. But the, the limiter is very robust and generally it's hard to get past it. So you have to kind of do really abusive things like two, two axis inputs very quickly, um, which you're welcome to try if you'd like like rolling the airplane and pulling at the same time and stuff like that. So, we, we put a lot of effort into making it keep you from, from getting to the stall. And you would also, in the real airplane, it would be yelling at you. Anytime you get into this low speed awareness, it would say airspeed low, airspeed low, and it would be, the throttles would be turning on and trying to push up. So there'd be a lot of ways the system was trying to protect you. Does it also like limit your bank? So this has uh, bank angle call outs, okay. but it it allows you to go, you will get a different, your display will turn into an unusual attitude display if you bank too far and it, there'll be call outs, um, but it doesn't stop you from rolling. Just because we're trying to give you all the options to maneuver the aircraft if you need to for a bird or for terrain or for another airplane or something like that. It's a little bit different than some of the other aircraft. Can I put it in a, like an aggressive bank? And see you can do anything you want. You can do a barrel roll if you want. <laughs> so the problem is, and his HUD is showing the unusual attitude display. These aren't the real displays, so you don't get, but you do see some of it. So you'll see like those arrows down there um, are pointing, they kind of show up when you get very, very steeply pitched up or down. But yeah, you can do a, as steep of a bank as you'd like to see what it's like. So that's unusual attitude. So Jeez. that says, okay, we just need to recover out of this, so I'm going to give you just the basic display so you can tell which way is up and which way is down. And if you're very far away from level, it shows you a wider, a more compressed pitch ladder. Do you want to try putting it in the bank or anything? No? That's all you. Come on. You go ahead. Should we land? Let's do it. So if you can find the airport. Up and over this, I think that valley over there is where... Now the pappies are correct here. And I think they're at three degrees. But yeah, you'll just have to kind of look outside and look at where your <laughs> flight path marker is and try to see what is a good three degree line. About 130-ish, 25 is it's a good speed here. You're looking pretty good. I will pull back up just a little bit and try to go right just past those flashing lights there at the end of the runway. Yep, so push a little bit more power. Yeah, so you'll notice, I didn't notice this when I landed here, but I think that fence is probably real. There's a fence at the edge of the, which is part of the reason why they probably do a steep approach, because they're trying to stay clear of the fence. Keep the, keep the noise down. And, yeah. Uh, so it doesn't hurt them to have a fence at the edge of the runway. Perfect. Yeah, I'd say you just go idle at this point. Your speed's looking good. Nice. 
round out at about 20 feet or so, a little bit more, a little bit more. TRs all the way. You can push on the brakes as well and de-rotate. Very nice. Just that First. easy. That's a really short runway. <laughs> it is, yeah. The Definitely end comes is. up quickly. Did good. That was fun.